Welcome to Himeji. And you're watching the Fantastic Four. Before we head out to see the castle today, we wanted to show you a little bit of the, uh, the space we're staying in here in Himeji. We are guests of Hikaru, and she owns a kimono shop, which is down below, and we are staying in an apartment above her kimono shop. And the kimono shop is located in this outdoor mall area. It's kind of a covered mall walkway area. I'm sure we're going to show you some footage of that here in a little bit. But um, anyway, it's a really interesting space, so we wanted to just give you a little glimpse of it. So the first area is this, um, we walk up the stairs from the outdoor mall and we come into this living area. And um, we know that she's really involved in sort of uh, traditional Japanese art and culture. She, so she, if, if there's so many things to look at in here. <coughs> there are some, I mean, I really don't even know what I'm looking at, but I mean, there's art on the walls, there's um, bowls and pottery, there's uh, these, <laughs> arrows that I'm sure are, have some sort of significance, there's calligraphy, there's um, traditional Japanese dolls, um, there's origami. Um, anyway, it's it's really interesting space because there's just so many different things to look at. So there's the low table that we talked about before, um, the mats that you can sit on here, and um, so that's the living space. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than what we've stayed in before, but it's um, it's just got lots of different little pockets of space. So this is sort of a kitchen area. Um, they just have a hot plate. She just has a hot plate here and a toaster oven and some coffee cups and things with a sink. And then there's a toilet over here. It's a traditional sort of Western toilet. So nothing special or fancy to see there. And then, um, yeah, we take our shoes off here, put the slippers on, and then we come into another sort of tiny living, little living space and there's windows that look out into a courtyard down below and um yeah there's just a shelf here and it's just kind of a walkway actually so then we walk down another hallway kind of a long hallway and we go into this first private room and there are bunk beds in here and kind of another living space we have our backpacks and stuff kind of strewn all about but there's a hanging chair, some sitting spaces, and there's two bunk beds here. And um, we are renting out this whole space, this whole upstairs area, but um, it sleeps six, I believe. And so that if you were a group of two and a group of four, you could share the space. But because there are four of us, we have this whole space. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So this is the first sort of bedroom. And then if you come down the hallway, this is where the girls are staying. This is another, you can see them peeking in there. They're in the, they're up above in one of the bunk beds. But this is uh, another sort of living space. And there's a bunk bed here and a bunk bed here with these really nice fluffy duvets. And then you can slide this door open and go into the kitchen area where the girls were playing with some origami stuff earlier. And um, I guess it's just sort of more of a dining area where you can eat. And then there's this tiny little refrigerator that I was telling you guys about that seems to be quite the norm here in Japan. Microwave. And then there are some pantry items there, which we probably won't end up using. But um, if you go down these steps here, I won't take you all the way down there, but there is another shower area and a toilet. But anyway, that's the space that we are that's the space that we're using and it's been really interesting and fun. We don't have a lot of time here um, in Himeji, but we are glad that we got to spend it here in this really unique uh, location above the kimono shop. よし、これでちょっと緊張感入ったかな。あ、全然入ってない。あ、そうでるバイトで引き入れに来ます。皆さん、あの、ぜひ信じてあげてください。やるときはやるを収めてございます。これ成功させて最後のパフォーマンスに
What did we just experience? Not sure. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. I felt bad for the monkey though. Yeah, especially what? after seeing the wild monkeys the other day at the uh, monkey park. Yes, definitely. So here we are today in Himeji and we are visiting the Himeji Castle which is right behind us. So a couple of things about the Himeji Castle. One is that it is uh, considered a Japanese national treasure as well as a world UNESCO site. Um, I think it's one of 12 original castles in Japan and it's, all, it's completely made of wood which is also something else that's interesting and I think it went, recently went under sort of a renovation so it's just been open since 2015. I do know that when we go into the castle we're not allowed to wear shoes so that should be interesting. I've never really entered a national museum or anything without having my shoes on. So and I'm assuming that's because they redid the floors and it, or it could just be a Japanese thing. So I'm not sure, but Autumn read a lot more about the castle and so she knows a few more things. Um, so one of the things is when you come in, there's a moat around um, the castle grounds and there were originally two moats, but um, I guess the land changed or whatever and now there's only one moat. The second moat got buried and also, um, when the castle was originally built a long time ago, they had like several different entrances and lots of paths. Um, I know there was one path that led into a spiral maze that didn't really go anywhere. Um, and these were to keep any intruders from getting to the castle easily. Like the paths were supposed to keep them confused and stuff. And um, they cleared a lot of the paths out to make it easier for visitors. Um, but some visitors apparently still get confused about it today, so hopefully we don't get lost. Um, one other thing I read was that when we go into the castle, um, there are a lot of stairways, and um, that the higher up you get, the more narrow the stairwells get, and there are lots of li different places to look out, and I think, um, I forget what they're called, but it was basically so for the archers or the, the people who shot arrows in defense, like they, there are these sort of little areas where they can like pop their heads out and shoot arrows down at the enemies. So that should be something interesting to see as well. Along those lines, the castle has several, um, it's hard to describe, but they have like cones almost that have openings at the bottom and you can't see the openings like if you're just looking at it, but from the inside you can drop rocks from these openings upon the heads of whoever is trying to attack you. So that's supposed to be like a sneaky self-defense system. So anyway, we're excited to go check it out. It looks very impressive. I don't know if you can get it, how impressive it looks just from a camera, but it looks very impressive behind us. It's, it really just sort of overtakes the landscape when you walk in here. So we're excited to check it out. hiding places which are pretty cool. I think there's one over there. Yeah right there that little window. So apparently a little warrior or maybe not a little warrior or maybe a very big warrior would hide in there in case someone would get into the castle and they'd pop out in ambush. Kind of cool. Okay, we just got done going through all six floors of the castle. There's actually a seventh, the basement, but I don't think we went in there. So, Eden, what did you think of the castle? It, it, I liked it. It was really high, and I liked it. Good. And what was, did you have like a favorite part, or? I like taking my shoes off. Yeah, we had to take our shoes off when we got in there, and the reason being that they had just redone the floors. I'm not sure it was a religious reason. I think it was because they had just redone the floors, but I could be wrong on that. Um, so you like taking your shoes off? Tell us about the steps. They were really steep. We, I, um, like, they were really slippery. So I, I, almost every time I had, well, every time I had to hold the railing. So, That's what it's there for though, right? Yeah, but I, they were really steep. Okay, last question. Would you recommend other kids your age go through the castle? Um, yeah. It was really fun. It was fun. It was worth it, huh? Okay. 
So there you go. That's a five-year-old's perspective. Hey everybody. So we're finishing our day up in the Cafe de Mickey Hello Kitty. I don't know if you can see this or not, but everything in here is Hello Kitty. Not sure how we found ourselves in here, except for that it has something to do with the five-year-old. Let's just put it like that. Yes, everything in here is Hello Kitty themed from the drinks to the ice cream. Um, yes, it is a bit of Hello Kitty overload. I don't know if you can hear in the back, but they're playing the Hello Kitty um, Nutcracker. It's the Nutcracker, but with Hello Kitty. Very strange. <laughs> and Autumn cannot look away, so if she's distracted, you'll know why. <laughs> anyway, we had a really good day. We really enjoyed seeing the castle today. We walked down tonight to see the castle. It's all lit up with spotlights. It's really, really beautiful. So we're really glad we made the stop in Emeji. And um, yeah, we have a lot more videos to show you. So we are hoping that if you haven't subscribed already, that you will. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And keep following us for the rest of our journey. Oh, 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 o